If you're struggling to break through any old disempowering limiting beliefs that you know are holding you back from creating more success in your business and life, I have nine facts to share with you about beliefs that might surprise you to help loosen their grip and power over you. Hello, my name is Kirsty Kamarowskis. I am here to help you break through to your next level of success. If that sounds like something you want, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in. So belief work has been one of the biggest pieces of work I've had to do internally for myself in order to create massive shifts in my business and in my life. There are so many beliefs that we end up being conditioned with from our families, from society, just generally speaking. And there are certainly a lot of beliefs about money, right? Loads of them that do not empower us and make it a little bit tricky for us to create the abundance that we want in our business. Some of the biggest beliefs that have held me back was believing that I had to work harder than anyone else to create the same level of success, believing that I was worthy and deserving of the success that I desired, believing that money was easy to make. You know, I always thought money and success was hard and required hustle and grind. There's also the imposter syndrome, right? So there was the belief that I just wasn't good enough, that I wasn't qualified enough or experienced enough or who am I to be teaching these things to other people so these are all beliefs and I'm sure that you know your own beliefs that are holding you back but I'm sure some of those have touched some of you as well because they're pretty common in the entrepreneurial space so what are your beliefs right now what are the biggest beliefs that are getting in your way right now and if you're like me, you would have done some work around them, maybe used some affirmations to try and change them. But some of them can be really, really stubborn and they don't go with ease. So in this video, I want to share with you nine facts about belief because I want them to stop having that power and that control over your every move because ultimately whatever we believe is what we're going to experience in our lives. So we really do want to learn how to change them and shift them fast. Our beliefs have the power over the kind of business that we build, the type of person we become, the amount of money that we allow into our lives and into our businesses, and even the impact that we can make on the world. And I'm sure if you're here watching this video, you have big goals, you have big dreams, you have a purpose, you have an impact you want to make through your business with your clients. So it's really important that we start shifting some of these beliefs as quickly as we can. So fact number one, beliefs aren't even real. They're not actual truth. So the sun comes up every day and goes down every day. The tide goes out and it comes back in. This is real. This is truth. This is actual. This is 100% certain at any time. You might not see the sun coming. There might be clouds in front of the sun, but it still comes up and it goes down. It comes up and it goes down. Law of gravity. If you drop something, it falls on the floor. That is truth. That happens 100% of the time with certainty. Don't start thinking, what if you're in space? I'm talking about if we're on planet Earth. <laughs> nice try. Beliefs are just a perception that you hold. So this is the first thing to understand about them. Even if they feel really real right now and they feel so true, just remember, they're a perception. They are just an idea that you are holding about something. And we all know we can change our perceptions. We can change what we think, right? When Wayne Dyer always said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at changes. So those beliefs that you're holding on to so tightly, they're not real and they can be changed. So that's number one, they absolutely can be changed. Number two, beliefs are just thoughts you keep thinking over and over and over again. This is how they become hardwired in your mind because you've thought them over and over again to a point where your subconscious has just embodied it as a truth, as part of a hardware program that it now has running as a filter. Your subconscious mind can process millions of bits of data per second in your conscious mind. What you're thinking and listening with me with right now, which is just a narrow part of your mind, can only pro process about 55, 60, 60 bits of data. So there's millions of bits of data that aren't even coming through to your conscious mind. And one of the filters your subconscious mind uses in order to decide what tiny speck of information to allow you to have access to is beliefs. So we want to be changing these beliefs because then we'll change the information. You know, that million dollar idea you've been asking for is out there. It's probably coming into your subconscious mind right now, but your subconscious mind is filtering it out according to the beliefs. So they're just thoughts you keep thinking. So this is how we change our beliefs by repeating 
another thought, a thought that affirms something completely different. This is where affirmations come in. We need to start telling ourselves a new story. We need a new inner dialogue. We need to affirm something completely different. So number three, your beliefs were created mostly as a child. So when we come into this world, we our subconscious mind is wide open. When we are little, we don't have analytical skills. Our mind isn't properly developed. So up until the end of age of seven, we are soaking in everything. We are accepting everything as true. We can't rationalize. We can't analyze. We don't know if it's true or not. We haven't got the facility to even be able to process information that way. We just accept everything as if it's true. The horrible things that may have been said to you, you could have misinterpreted things from your parents or from someone else, other people's disempowering beliefs, all going straight into your subconscious mind. So this is another thing to know about them. They're out of date. They're not serving you because they're out of date. They are the beliefs of a child. So it's in your best interest to allow them to go, allow them to grow into something that is more aligned with you as an adult and aligned with your success in your business. So that is number three. Remember, they're children's beliefs. Okay. Number four, your beliefs create your reality. Neuroscience tells us this, that our brain will create our reality according to our beliefs. Now, remember what I just said about the subconscious mind filtering information, data coming in into you through your belief system. So it's giving you prompts. It's giving you information that align to your beliefs. So if you think that money is really, really hard to make or business is really hard, you're going to get a load of evidence brought to you through your mind that is affirming all of this to be true. They're also going to change how you show up, right? So if you believe that you're not capable of something or you believe that money is really hard to make, are you going to allow yourself to do something easy for money? Or are you just not even going to do the easy thing because it just feels to you, why would I even waste my time doing this? It's not going to make me any money. I have to do hard work to get any money. So I'm only ever going to do hard work. I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to sacrifice my life. I'm going to not see my family and my friends because it's hard to make it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy because they completely control our actions and our behaviors and what we're willing to do and how we show up in the world. So your beliefs create your realities. This is another fact about beliefs that we want to be very mindful of. And another reason to change them right now and let go of the little ones that are holding you back right now. So the thing is though, even though beliefs aren't real, they're not true, they feel so real to us. Because we've lived through them. We've lived through them for years. We've perceived the world through them. The world has responded back to us. The universe responds back with events that line up to our beliefs. So then we're just saying, see, I told you. What about that time? What about that time? What about that time? This is all showing me. This is all evidence showing me that my belief is actually true. This is just actually the way it is. Well, it all started from a belief. And this is the problem. We see the repeated patterns. Things keep coming to us over and over again, but it's all come from a belief. Everything starts with a thought. Everything starts in the mind. The outside world is projecting what our internal beliefs are, what our internal thoughts and stories are. So yes, they feel real. I get that. I was there. I was clinging on to my beliefs. Abraham Hicks talks about fighting for your limitations because we're like, but it's so real. This isn't a belief. This is actually it. So I encourage you, if there's anything like that that you feel like, anything that's popping into your mind right now that you're thinking, huh, just ask yourself, if this was a belief, what could the belief be? And how could I be willing to see this in a different way? How about creating an experiment again where you get to test it out? What if I was to believe this? I'm just going to test this out as a theory with no attachment, no expectation. Let's just play the game. And then let's see what unfolds as I start to practice this new belief. So number six, beliefs get anchored into your subconscious mind through emotion. So if you've got a really stubborn belief, you're not able to release right now. And when you think about it, you feel that emotion, that emotion's anchoring it in. So it's not just the belief that we need to release. We need to release the emotion. We need to release the trauma, the experience, the memories, right? Because there's stuck energy in your system that it's holding it firmly in place. And when we can process those emotions, when we can process the memories and release the belief, that's when it will go. And that's when we can create new beliefs. So the emotion, just notice when you think about some of your beliefs, like how do they make you feel? Where do you feel it in your body? How strong is the feeling? And this will give you an indication. And what memories pop up? This will give you an indication of how anchored in it is. And then we'll also show you the work that you need to do to release it. 
Number seven, if you're struggling to break through to your next level of success in your business right now, or your next level of income, whatever it is, you can bet your bottom dollar there is a belief behind it. So start looking for those beliefs. And remember, whatever our reasons are, or when we come up with excuses, there's always beliefs behind them. They are showing you what your belief is. It's a blessing at the end of the day, because when we look at our reasons, when we look at our excuses, why haven't I achieved this yet? Why haven't I achieved that? They show us the beliefs, so they're all there for us to see. So it's not like it's being hidden when we actually start getting curious and start questioning ourselves in this way. So what is it you want to achieve? Why haven't you done it yet? What is the reason it's coming up? That is your belief, right? Get ready to let that one go. So until you change your beliefs, this is the next one. Number eight, until you change your beliefs, the outside world is not going to change. It can't change. Your results won't change until you stop telling yourself the same thing about why the results are as they are. Your financial situation, your money, your income, your sales won't change until you change that belief about your sales. The clients, how much you're worth to people. We need to change the beliefs. And then finally, number nine, and this is really, really powerful when I realized this. Most people are cruising the internet, cruising social media, just with their mind wide open. So, you know, we're in a relaxed state of mind and we end up sucking it all up, right? It's just going straight in. So our subconscious mind, when we're relaxed and we're not being mindful about the information, the thoughts and the beliefs that we're allowing into our mind, it just soaks it all up. It takes it all in. This is why people listen to the news and they are just living in fear because they are just wide open to all the suggestion, the powerful suggestion that the news has given them, that politicians are giving them, right? It's the power of suggestion. Advertising, it's the same. They understand the psychology behind it. They understand how to use persuasion and suggestion. So all the time you're scrolling social media and you're not really thinking or not really aware of the thoughts that are going on in your mind, we end up comparing. Oh, I can't do that because I'm this. Oh, I'm not good enough because I haven't got this. What's wrong with me? All of this dialogue can be going on without you even being aware because you're just looking at the pictures and looking at the videos. But actually, there's this really disempowering and crippling inner dialogue going on that's actually in enhancing some of those limiting beliefs that you've already got, planting new ones, and you don't even realize it's happening. So the next time you're on social media, I encourage you to notice what that dialogue is saying. What is that self-talk that's going on? Because you want to be mindful that you're not planting even more beliefs that aren't serving you that are going to continue to get in your way. So. I could go on and on about this, but I won't. I think that's enough for you to listen to in one episode. So I hope this has helped you and it's helped you kind of decide to shift those beliefs because it really does come from a decision. Are you willing to let them go? Are you ready to let them go? Do you decide that there's absolutely no way you're listening to that story anymore, that you're believing that anymore? Is it time to just let them go and choose a different thing to believe? I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and it has helped you start shifting some of your beliefs about the beliefs that you hold. And you can start to see how powerful it is to let go of some of these stories. Now, if you need more help with this, I have just the thing for you and I'll drop a link in the description at the bottom of this video. It's called the Belief Busting Workshop and it will take you through a powerful and proven belief busting framework where you don't even have to try and figure out what you need to do. You can just follow it step by step so that you can let go of some of those biggest beliefs that have just been holding you back and really, really anchoring you into this reality or the circumstances that you don't want in your business. It's time to let them go. As soon as you change your beliefs, everything outside will start to shift. So I'll drop the link in the description for you and then you can check that out if it's something that you want to dive deeper in. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give me a like. And if you want more free mindset coaching, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will see you again in the next episode.